All right, before I dive into the topic that we have today, I want to say thank you to my students who showed me support on this small YouTube channel. Thank you. Anyway, let's dive in first to the person by mass. So here we have the first example that is by using person by mass. Person by mass is equal to mass of the solute divided by mass of the solute plus mass of the solvent. Before I move further, I want to clarify what is, what is the solute and what is the solvent. Take a look at this small clip that I should separately to understand what are they. So, in this simple demonstration, we have sodium chloride, this one here, that is called the solute, and water, which is called the solvent. If we mix the solute with the solvent, solute is going to dissolve in the solvent and to form a solution. So, let's do it. Okay, now that you understand what is the solute and what is the solvent, and if you mix a solute with a solvent, you're going to have a solution, let's move to our calculation. So in this case, as you show to the clip, we have So 20 gram of the solute divided by 20 gram of, sol of the solute plus 100 gram of the solvent, which they made the solution. So a shorter way should be here, mass of the solution that we signed like this. So in this case, the concentration on percent by mass will be 16.6% sodium chloride. Let's move now to a typical example that happens in the lab. So in order to convert the percent by mass to the molar concentration, in this case of the sulfuric acid, you need to know the density of the concentrated acid. But also you need to know what is the molar concentration. You know that the molar concentration is mole per liter. But what means 96%? 96% means that you have 96 gram of pure sulfuric acid divided by 100 gram of the solution of this acid. So in order to convert this to the mole per liter, you need to convert this 96 gram in moles of sulfuric acid and this 100 gram of the solution of the sulfuric acid into the liters. For converting the second one, you are going to use the density of the acid. So let's convert the first one first. So number of mole of the sulfuric acid at 96% concentration is This ratio here is the molar mass of the sulfuric acid from the periodic table. So number of moles is 0 0.97 mole. Now let's find for this number of mole the volume of the solution. We have 100 gram of solution, but we have with a density 1.83 gram per milliliter. So the volume of the solution is 54.64 milliliter. Let's find now the molar concentration. We know that molar concentration is equal to number of moles divided by the volume of the solution. So in this case is 0 0.97 moles divided by 54.64 multiplied by 10 to minus 3 liter because volume is in liter. This is number of moles in mole. Mole per liter means molar concentration. So the concentration here is 17.75 molar. If we have the molar concentration, can we find the normal concentration? For normal concentration, I'm going to make a separate video to know all the scenarios how to find it. But in this case, I'm going to give just a simple formula that 
normal concentration is A multiply the molar concentration. This A in this case represents the number of hydrogens at the sulfuric acid, which are two in this case. So you have H2SO4, there are two. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by 17.75 molar. It's going to be 35.5 normal. The point in this problem is that you need to convert from percent by mass to molar the acid in order, in order to prepare more diluted solutions. Like in this case, for example, 250 milliliter sulfuric acid with one molar concentration. What would be the volume that we are going to take from this 96% sulfuric acid? If you are able to convert it to the molar concentration as we did here, it is simple to find the volume for a more diluted solution. You know that you can use this formula. This is a typical formula that we use for dilution. So what is missing here and what we have? We have volume of the, our solution that we want to prepare, 250 milliliter. We have concentration of our solution, that is one molar. What we know on this side, we have the concentration of the concentrated acid, 17.75 molar. And we need only the volume of the sulfuric acid concentrated. By a simple mathematical trick, we can find the volume. Let's move now to the mole fraction. Mole fraction is, it has a symbol like this, is number of moles of the solute divided by the number of moles of the solute plus number of moles of the solvent. It can be also that the mole fraction of the solvent is equal to number of moles of the solvent divided by number of moles of the solute plus number of moles of the solvent. For example, as in our case with sodium chloride, that was 20 gram of sodium chloride, mix it with 100 gram of water, what would be, for example, the mole fraction for sodium chloride? Zero point zero fifty seven. It does not have a unit. The maximum value that the mole fraction can take is one. So in order to find the mole fraction for the solvent, in this case water, it's going to be 1 minus mole fraction of the solute, that is sodium chloride in this case. 1 minus 0 0.057 is going to be 0 0.943. This is the mole fraction. So the last type of concentration that I will mention here is PPM and PPB. Keep in mind that PPM, remember the M, that means million, that means 10 to power 6, 10 to power 6. And uh, PBB, that is B, 10 to power 9, that is billion. This is million, this is billion. PPM is expressed in 1 milligram per liter, and PPB is 1 microgram per liter. They are in this way because the density is assumed to be 1 gram per milliliter for extremely diluted solutions or whatever, whenever you use this kind of concentrations. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and see you in the next video. Peace.